Dr. McLeod. I work for IMAS, the Institute of Marine and Antarctic Studies, and I'm a Deputy Director in the Fisheries and Aquaculture Centre. Um, my research interest is around environmental impact assessment and particularly around uh, contaminants and uh, organic enrichment in our marine systems. A project that we've just got funded through the FRDC um, we're very excited about. It's looking at ecosystem interactions between aquaculture and other users of our marine and coastal systems. Um, the project came about through the research advisory groups that we uh, run through IMAS here that uh, had identified um, a need for that uh, by consultation with industry, with government um, and with the community. Tassie, we're a very uh, coastal focused population here and we, we get that. So we're actually looking to try and make sure that we're able to feed back to people how our research is going to help them understand their connections to the sea. Now we're looking at the in immediate vicinity of the farms, the sediments in the area around the farms, um, how we monitor that and how effective that is. But we also took on board that we, we now do a lot of water quality monitoring uh, through something called the Broad Scale Environmental Monitoring Program, which is a program undertaken by the industry itself um, on the, the uh, guidelines set by the government. Um, but one thing that wasn't in that was some of the reef interactions. So we have uh, defined a project around that to help us better understand where the risks of that are. Um, and if there are clear risks, then what would you monitor to be able to manage that? And how would that translate then to management actions? So we're hoping to be able to provide the government and the industries with some guidance around what they could do to better manage the industry going forward. The project itself is a collaboration between uh, the salmon industry, the state government to Pipwe, the TAS Abalone Council and the Abalone industry, um, the rock lobster fishermen, recreational fishermen, and uh, we're tying in as much as we can with uh, community groups and environment groups. So we really want broad consultation and broad input into this project. At the moment, we're, we're looking at somewhere about a dozen scientists and technical staff involved in this, but I'm really conscious that there's a lot of other research going on in this space, uh, both with research here at IMAS, at CSIRO, but within the industry and even the community itself, there's a lot of activity in this space. So I'm very keen to tie in with other uh, projects that are going on to value add as much as we can to our research, but also to theirs. We want to make data compatible wherever we can, particularly when it's as hard to get as this.